one attachment point at a time. How's your voice doing, Izzy? Let's see. Can everybody hear me now? Can hear you now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was probably my uh, uh, headset. It's got one of those swivel mics, and sometimes it doesn't realize it's in the position. No, yeah, that's never fun. So I guess I'll start us off here today. Welcome to our June meeting. Um, also, happy birthday to Second Life. It is uh, uh, SL20B right now, the 20th anniversary of Second Life ending its beta period. Um, there's a whole lot going on, um, a whole lot of news to share, so I'm going to jump on in. Um, we do have for the celebration um, over 60 regions of music, shopping, exhibits, events. I do hope that everyone gets a chance to check it out. There's a lot of work that's been put into it, and it's really quite amazing. Um, we are also offering uh, a couple of sweepstakes with daily premium account subscriptions. Uh, also, two very big prizes uh, in the national, which is a Chevrolet Bolt EV car with a or a high-end Asus computer. Uh, those are for the United States residents only. We also have a global contest, which includes um, Second Lifetime premium subscriptions, uh, premium plus subscriptions. And uh, over 14 days, uh, we already start on the 22nd. We're giving away one year of premium every day. Uh, the potential winners will be contacted via email uh, and must reply to the email within three days just to confirm eligibility uh, or the prize gets forfeited to an alternative winner. And congratulations, Paisa. Um, we also have a shop and hop back now with 24 regions, including for the first time, uh, there's adult focus shopping, uh, four regions of that. Uh, community celebration uh, also features 321 different exhibits, uh, including our first adult specific area there as well. Um, yeah, it's it's a real one, Pro. It's a real one. Um, you can learn a, a whole lot of the things going on at SL Twenty B uh, via our blog. That's at there. Oh, and I alluded to it earlier. We're also holding a series of um, lab gab talks throughout the week. Uh, Catch spoke on Monday, Grumpy and Mojo yesterday. Uh, today at 1.30, uh, Philip and Oberwolf Linden will be speaking. Uh, Stifi and Brett on Thursday. And then the Moles on Friday. Uh, you can learn a bit more about the talks at uh, this this early here. Um, but there's just, there's just a ton of those coming up. Um, I think it's listed for two, Neary, uh, to give plenty of time for questions and also for um you know giving out bears and all that kind of stuff too also Any other questions for two in case it runs long exactly because they do <laughs> and that's not a bad thing at all you know better to have the time and that's true karen actually even linden lab goes back even further than that uh, once we go back into like the rig days and all that, um, that's uh, the basics on SL twenty one B. There's just we could spend all hour just going over everything that's there, all the the stages and all of the you know the time events and so forth. There's just a lot to see. I do highly recommend going and checking it out.
I got this armor here from uh, TSC Creations. Who's that SLB20? For anyone who likes fantasy armor. They have a whopping good of a store. There's so many stores to choose from. You almost have to plan out your day. Please go ahead. Maybe. No, they have good stuff. I've seen a lot of good stuff. Yes, for coffee. Oh. Hi, Lindens. So, I have a question about the glorious past and the merciless present. When you type the word info hubs into the map search, you don't get an answer on the regular view viewer. You do on the Firestorm viewer. So I'm wondering why that is. Sorry, my voice is kind of raspy because I just had surgery. And the other question I have is some of, well, you know, there was this old program, the resident run info hubs. There's about 10 of them. And I, in my group, run one in Ross. There's one in Ombot that was created by Osprey Therian, who died in real life. There's others that are maintained, some not maintained. But I've been going around to them recently, and I find some of them let you set home to here, and others don't. And the Belly Hub, which is the new Belisaria hub, which has all these nice tutorials and with Abner and others doing these, you know, the features of Belisaria, but you can't set home to that. So I'm wondering why, why this, because, especially because when you attempt to set home, you get this message that says you can only set home on your land on your own land or Linden uh, info hubs, which then turns out not to be the case. So do you follow my questions basically about why they're not showing up or why you can't set home to all the old hubs and new hubs? That's, a, that's an interesting question. I'd like to, um, if you happen to have a, a list or anything of the ones that it's not working at, Yes, I'm making one. And I'll, I'll send it. I, I mean, everyone has talked about this on Twitter, but it hasn't mm -hmm. really been listed. So I'm start. I started a list on the group that's called Resident Info Hubs or something like that. I'll send it to you, but you can see some of them already. I definitely uh, appreciate it. I mean, um, I don't know whether it's a glitch or whether it was a conscious. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure myself, thing. but I would love to look into it because they really should um, allow for that. And I want to make sure. Uh, also, sorry to hear or sorry to hear about the surgery. Hope it's uh, hope you're doing okay now. Well, I'm getting by. Good. But uh, yeah, you. please, please by all means, do send me a list because I would personally love to look into that. All right, moving right along with the, uh, the news, and we have a full schedule. Uh, SLB 20 is not the only new area available. We have opened a new region, and it's called Motown. In conjunction with the Capital Music Group, STYNGR, uh, provides radio streams of both classic and contemporary Motown hits. While there, you can also purchase uh, stings, which are similar to a gesture that plays a music clip and animates you. Uh, it actually uses officially licensed music to play on the media when performing the gesture-like animation, which is also cool. And you can read more about Motown here. And here is the soil to the region. Additionally, Motown is part of a much larger area featuring a brand new welcome area for new users, which features several regions for residents to explore. You'll find a shopping area, a social casino, theater, sandbox, a laser tag area, which sounds pretty fun, and much more. It's called the, well, excuse me, it's located in the Welcome Hub region. 
With the new Welcome Hub comes uh, the need for new mentors. So we have started a new generation of mentoring, including both mentors for the Welcome Areas and the Bellis Area Specific men, uh, Mentor Group. Now, if you're interested in uh, this uh, new development, go ahead and visit here. Yes, it was easy. I loved it. Karen, these casinos do not have any payout whatsoever. Um, they are strictly for fun purposes. Uh, so you get in, the uh, system will give you some uh, tokens or coins to play with. Um, right, guys? It's been a minute. What Absolutely. That's okay. definitely okay. true. And Neary, um, the reason why it's using a HUD when you go to Motown is those are all... Um, uh, how do you say licensed songs uh that are strictly you know coming through the agreement with motown so you know you're actually by listening to them effectively supporting those artists too and the stings are kind of cool um it's basically an animation which it's really more like a gesture not in a full animation but it does like a little bit of a song with a gesture so this isn't actually it, but if you think like hearing the Michael Jackson ooh sound while doing a Michael Jackson move kind of a thing, something like that is kind of what stings are. Just call those emotes. Just really small musical cues or uh, sound effects. I kind of like the woot woot. Mm -hmm. But I will say, being in uh, the Motown region, listening to the music and whatnot, and being able to do those things is kind of cool. Pilix, when I was playing with it, it was done in an experimental mode, so I haven't done it since it went live, but I believe it is an inventory thing, but don't quote me on that. And as far as the effect that Motown being here will have, what I'm hopeful is more and more partnerships to bring more and more um, music into Second Life. Um, because music is a, such a huge part of Second Life and having an organization with their island, in my opinion, doesn't really take away from all the other places. It's just more options to be to go out and see. And the more support that various artists have with Second Life, who knows, maybe more of them will come in and do things. There's uh, one other topic I want to kind of jump into on this as well, um, because I know this is a biggie. Um, and that's, of course, Linden Homes. Uh, we unveiled our first 2048 homes uh, this week. Uh, they're in a ranch theme. Uh, Patch announced them on Monday. Uh, they're currently available to all of our Premium Plus members. Uh, although I do know they've been going pretty fast, so I'm not sure. How many are available at this point? We're working on spinning up some more, so there will certainly be some soon, if not now. Um, the infamous soon, I know. Uh, also, to level the playing field, uh, we've temporarily limited the, the, the 
uh, Linden Home Service to gain a Linden Home to only the 512 and 1024s. So all 24 Linden Homes are available through the standard Linden Home Picker only. Um, at least until the 10th of July, uh, then we'll go ahead and be able to uh, to assign those. Um, and yes, all of our cur uh, current Linden Home offerings also remain. We continue to grow those out as needed. Um, you can uh, learn more about the uh, ranch homes at this handy wiki link. And you can also um, go ahead and play with a ranch home or the ranch home styles and see how they look and work uh, in the belly demo region, uh, which has actually uh, demos to all of uh, the home styles. So that might be fun to explore just in general, but you can specifically see the ranch homes there as well. And one side effect that maybe Wendy uh, can't mention because she's on the land team, but now that I'm not on the land team, I can mention it. Um, one side effect of ranch homes coming out, any of you that uh, really, really wanted a Victorian home but couldn't get them because they were always gobbled up, I know for a fact that there are a few st uh, available at the moment, most likely because people that had Victorians went to go jump to ranch. So if you're interested in a Victorian, go now. Oh, I'm still keeping my Victorian. Thank you. <laughs> well, you already yeah, have a Victorian. Just, just thinking of mentioning that, Izzy. Thank you for doing so. But we oh, kind of see that with all the styles, though. When a new style comes up, others become available. So if there's a style that, like, I know in support, we're, we always um, are checking in the houseboats. Those are always uh, in demand. Uh, residents, you know, you want uh, Linden Home on the water. Um, so those are always um, being looked at. But when a new style comes up, sometimes those will uh, pop open and uh, maybe you have a Linden home that you were kind of like not sure about or, yeah, I, I got this one, but I really like that one. Well, when a new style comes on, uh, check the selection page. Actually gorgeous. I don't know if you heard Patch's um, lab gab, but one thing that he mentioned that we're going to be working towards is having the ability to see what's available as far as a Linden home is is uh, concerned without having to abandon your existing Linden home. So that is major. Uh, a, a feature that we're looking at. So that way, if you want a Victorian, but you currently have a log cabin and the log cabins are also very, very, very uh, in high demand, you don't want to give up your log cabin uh, to check and see if there are any Victorians, find out there aren't any and lose your log cabin in the process. So we've definitely heard that and understand it. So we're definitely doing it um as far as i'm not sure exactly what it's going to say um because it still hasn't been scoped out yet but it's going to say something thank you Izzy. And I just got an IM, so I'm just going to say it here rather than uh, respond to the IM directly. So I moved into basically a product manager role uh, in the Linden Department of Public Works. So that's why I'm not on the land team now, but I'm still here, still a Linden, uh, and you can't get away with it. Get rid of me. Uh, what was your question, Neri? Um, well, um, so there's someone here who has been coming to like pretty much all of the meetings um, uh, from sim user to, uh, to, well, just all of the meetings. I forgot the names right now. Um, but she's having a problem with harassment. She's blocked the person, etc., and all that's going well, but they're still being harassed through payments and, and, and other options, and they're really running out of like ways to deal with it. She doesn't know where to turn, and um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell her. I don't know how to help her. And I'm pretty sure maybe you guys can. Uh, our only recommendation, um, and this uh, unfortunately isn't the, uh, although I will answer your question, uh, we do not um, uh, you know, discuss uh, governance or abuse related issues here. Um, it would be to file an abuse report uh, through the That's viewer. obviously been done. Yeah, so that's the most that we can recommend from here. Is to okay, the, the reason that we went that we ended up going here. It's, I'm not going to last on this very long. 
the reason that we ended up going here is because it's the only one that does anything with customer relations and support. The the governance meetings are gone, as you know. Yeah. And so there's there's no place to turn. When the when the support tickets aren't being handled anymore and the person's still being harassed, they're out of options. The option would still be the abuse report, so that's as far as we're able to take it here. And make sure that you're linking the abuse reports, not through some mechanical means, but I mean, in the abuse report itself, mention, you know, this is an ongoing issue, this specific person, you know, uh, kind of a thing, put in the comments, the various names, if, if the name keeps changing, uh, just some way that they can go ahead and trace the fact that it's not just one report. Okay. Yeah, I think that the people, because the, there's various people here who are dealing with this, uh, heard that. Thank you. I think that's that's useful. All right. So we're going to try and stay on topic here because we have a few more to cover, and then we want to open the floor to any questions regarding SLB, uh, anything land or uh, support related here. So I'm going to move right into another exciting uh, announcement that was part of SLB 20. Um, one that many have already jumped on and we've become overwhelmed with, and that is the second lifetime accounts, uh, lifetime memberships to Premium and Premium Plus. Um, now, these are uh, a little expensive, <laughs> just to mention, uh, $749 for a lifetime of premium, uh, one-time fee, uh, and then $1749 for Premium Plus. Uh, you can learn more about it here. Uh, but I feel like everyone is already well aware and um, submitted their request to receive it. Right now, we are still in the sorting phase uh, of the applications. So uh, if you're interested, go ahead and um, uh, submit a ticket, uh, choosing which one, and uh, make sure you agree to the fee. Um, and we will uh, try to get back to you as quickly as we can. I think it was mentioned that we uh, there's going to be a 10-day waiting period while we sort through the requests. Uh, I don't know how many days that would make it left. Um, still a few more days, and uh, then we'll start getting back to uh, residents who submitted their their uh, their interest. But um, very cool second lifetime accounts. Um, I don't think uh, anyone of us expected this type of uh, overwhelming response, right, Wendy? Izzy. Yeah, I'd absolutely agree. We've had uh, uh, quite an amazing amount of interest in it. So, absolutely. Perhaps a little more than we expected. Uh, Sparkle just saw your question related to this. Um, right now, it is a one time payment. So, I don't believe we are taking payments on it. So, it'd be a one time fee. Gorgeous. As far as at this point in time, there isn't any way to combine. Um, for example, I asked specifically if you got the lifetime just premium, could you then pay a monthly difference to up your status to plus? And that's not an option, at least not at this time. Baka, the only thing that I can say in that one is that the Lifetime Premium and the Lifetime Premium Plus follow the same rules as the Premium and Plus accounts that are paid for monthly, quarterly, or annually. So that was still on the fence. I wanted to drop in this link um, that has information on the benefits for both memberships. And you can assume that if you sign up for a lifetime of either membership, you will receive those respectively.
Now, where is Adam? Is Adam here? Adam! You awake? <laughs> this next topic is for you. The mobile update. Now we have a YouTube video showing a little bit more. Go watch. I will say um, I had a um, real life uh, meetup uh, with a bunch of uh, Lindens where we were shown personally the mobile viewer on an iPad. Um, oh, I don't know if it was an iPad, but on a tablet. Um, and it was, it blew me away. I, I mean, it beat all of my expectations so and it this isn't the finished product that i was looking at it's still uh, in development but it was so wonderful I don't see anything uh, for it to replace desktop. Um, I believe it's really just an add-on because, I mean, you guys use Second Life. You know that there is so much that you have to do with the user interface depending upon what you're doing. So I really don't know how that would correlate um, to a uh, tablet, let alone a phone. Um, there's just way too much that you would have to do. So. I just see it as being an additional option. Xenia, um, I believe that was discussed actually in uh, Grumpy Mojo's talk yesterday that it is something that's still being looked at, still being pursued. Um, but that there's a lot of steps along the way for us to get to uh, to providing VR. A lot of things that we need to work on on the way. Yes, Karen, I've heard that a certain other company really shot themselves in the foot uh, in regards to that, except, well, they didn't have a foot to shoot. But I'm bummed. We'll never get up. She was saying they didn't have a leg to stand on. But I'm bummed. Pantera, um, unknown. Um, I know that it is being planned for both Android devices and iPhones, so I would assume iOS and, and whatever Androids are working on right now. Um, but I really couldn't say. Uh, Lexo, just to let you know, while I can't go into specifics as to what um, the roadmap meetings that I've been in uh, are about and such, I can say that while there are some that definitely are looking at the future of, you know, what to do uh, uh, in Second Life that might affect mobile or, or other things, there were a ton of them that are addressing, you know, legacy issues and fixing UI and adding uh, features like that or, or whatnot. So th we're, they're looking in both directions to fully keep flushing out Second Life. I didn't actually see a representation of an AO or a HUD uh, when I was looking at the mobile viewer when I did it in person.
folks um i don't think we'd be able to provide an answer for that one so what i would recommend is to follow a uh, feature request jira and then just relay what you'd like to see happen and our review team would take a look at it Adam, you probably haven't tried the right wind at home yet. You should try them all and, th and do a proper review for each one. That's good, Adam, because I'd pour water all over your soapbox and melt it. Bots would be another governance thing, so we really don't get the information as to what's going on in that regard. That said, there was some new code that was released. Um, I think it's actually released uh, yesterday um, that can allow devices to detect bots or scripted agents. So, you know, that's something to look at as well. I want to kind of jump in on uh, another new feature that uh, we got a lot of new features to discuss. Um, but we have a new enhancement for the inventory system um, that's currently in development. We'll add inventory thumbnails, as well as a single folder view. Uh, inventory thumbnails will allow you to add a, a preview image of inventory items at no additional charge, uh, which will allow you to see just what an item looks like without having to you know, attach the object and view it in the world. So you can just see it right from your inventory. Uh, merchants can also include preview images with their items. And also, uh, of course, textures and snapshots will automatically have previews. Um, and then single folder view, uh, pretty much what it sounds like, it'll allow you to see the contents of a single inventory folder in a separate window. Uh, makes it a bit easier to sort and use your inventory. Of course, the way it's all always been is still also going to be there and wholly accessible. Um, at current, uh, these features are only available in the Inventory Extensions Project Viewer, uh, which if you want to play with it, it's available as a, uh, um, a download. Uh, you can also learn a bit more about the uh, Inventory Extensions at that row right there. Um, there's also some other Project and Release Candidate Viewers there. We've talked about them before. Uh, things like the GL uh, PPR viewer, the puppetry project viewer, and even an emoji project viewer, which is kind of fun. So feel free to poke around those and take a look. Coming to trademarked uh, um, uh, where soon means sometime in the future, Baka. Like, so it would be more obvious if you had an emoji you could use for that. But there you go. And Adam, you know, you could actually file uh, anything like that under an account issue ticket. Um, it will get rooted to the correct person.
And we still have news. This might be our biggest uh, topic list in a good while. Enjoying it. So, on the final bit, um, we have a new mesh starter avatar to introduce, which will include a full line of clothing, attachments, and accessories to go along with it, and will be featured in the welcome area as well as in everyone's inventory library. There will also be a development kit for designers who wish to support the avatar, which is also being prepared for the release. And here is a link to the uh, presentation that Patch put out on Monday. You can have a review. Inworld, I'm not sure. Is it released yet? I'm not sure. No, not yet. But yeah. it will be coming very, very soon. And they'll actually also be appearing in your inventory library, so. Coming soon to an inventory library near you. Or on you. <laughs> or in you. <laughs> exactly, Key. Serena, there is actually some work going on. Um, not so much with the Terraform tools, but also with the, but with the textures uh, under PBR. That is work in progress, and I don't have an update for it at this time, but it is ongoing work. Baka, I believe that's pretty much the intention of the uh, dev kit to uh, basically allow them to uh, allow designers to make things for them. Send, I don't have any updates on Unreal 5, unfortunately. Neri, would we limit it to just male and female versions? Terrain stuff. I don't recall us talking about terrain stuff. Hyper, I really don't think, uh, again, I don't know how much of the train tools are being worked with, but that might end up being part of that work. Um, I really don't know. But I do know that it, uh, the PBR materials are being worked on with terrain. And that's unfortunately all I have on that at this point. And Naya, I don't believe the new stuff is in any way getting rid of the old stuff, so those should still be options as far as I know so far. Isis, are you, are you talking about, um, when we say new user experience, are you thinking like a new um, introduction into the viewer? Because that won't be changing. We're just adding on to um, the avatar which you can select. Yeah, sorry for any confusion there. Thank you, Neri. And we have uh, about 20 minutes left, so we can just go ahead and open the floor to any questions. Has everyone been enjoying SLB20 so far? ISIS, as far as the interface, I'm not sure which part of it you're speaking about. We're always, you know, looking at ways to modify the interface. I know that there's been uh, a lot of talk about bringing some stuff that's deep in debug um, into uh proper uh, interface options and stuff like that. So we're always looking at uh, modifying it. So, but that's all I can really say at this point. Additionally, if you have some specific idea uh, in mind for the viewer or for the way tools work or anything like that, please, please do file a uh, new feature Jira so that our developers can take a look at that because 
unfortunately we're not developers or maybe that's fortunate because i really don't think you would want me inside of the development tools um <laughs> you know uh, that m might be a bad idea. like guys you, you wouldn't believe what i just made today <laughs> you wouldn't believe what i just broke today um <laughs> but uh but put something in there so that our devs can see it so that they can at least take a look at it and see that there's an interest if not, start and work on it right away. So, you know, I would love to see additional terrain tools, given that I work in terrain every day. Um, so please feel free. If you've got good ideas out there, put them in there. Karen, you can have that second life, but not in the real world. What's the release date for the Unity uh, Mobile Edition of the Viewer? Uh, there is no release date. Oh, uh, okay. Do we have a kind of a it's, timetable it's, for uh, the timetable was discussed? The timetable was discussed yesterday in Grumpy and Mobile and and Mojo's. Um, they're hoping to have an alpha by the end of the year, um, and then probably a public beta uh, first part of next year, but. You know, there's there's no firm dates for mobile at this point. That'd be pretty exciting. Agreed. Send, those are the problems we like to have. Be a very good problem to address. <laughs> what to do with everyone? Um, Neil, I know <laughs> we've mentioned it before, probably on a monthly basis, but everything is constantly being reevaluated. Um, the lifetime memberships do provide a lock-in feature where you pay one time and you don't pay again. Um, with that being said, is everything in, in concrete? Um, I, I would say no, because nothing has ever been in concrete. Um, everything can be reviewed. Um, but the caveat is we can't promise any change. Uh, so things might remain as is once they get reviewed. Um, things might be put on a list of possible development projects later if they feel that it warrants it. Um, the only thing that we can talk about here is things that are released or that have been mentioned, you know, in a public forum, like another user group, as Wendy mentioned. Um, so we really can't, you know, um, you know, uh, comment on ideas or, or, or rumors. Um, I would also like to point out, I know that you guys stated that with we bulk meshes, we can upload mesh models, but we cannot upload, we can upload images for free, but we cannot upload like actual mesh models for free. Like we have to pay like 10 L's up to 500 L's to get certain meshes in to Second Life. Yeah, the mesh uploads are not anything that is included in Premium Plus, at least at this time. Um, that could potentially happen in the future or some other thing could happen. Um, but I really don't have any information on that, unfortunately. And I feel your pain on that because I do a lot of mesh uploading myself. Um, but, uh, Girl, they are not listening at all. Oh, it's, 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 it's a challenge. Um, <laughs> You know, um, we can push on it, but there isn't much that we can do right at this point. I wish I could help on it. I would say getting your ideas and concerns escalated through the proper channels is the best way to do it. Bringing it up here is great because then you make everyone else aware that, hey, this could be a possible thing that we should look at. But also sending it in through the feature request. Like, what are y'all not understand? Like... Sorry, you cut out there if you're still talking.
And also, um, I don't know, like, who I would have to, like, speak to about, like, when you buy, like, lendings from, like, when you don't do the instant buy and you actually buy from, like, the other option and they'll give you, like, a time frame. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but within that time frame, it does not, like, it just now I had purchased some. And it took, like, 40 minutes. Is that normal? Like, is it, is that normal? It really yeah, depends on is when that it becomes available. Like, limit buys for it to go past that time for like the, the orders. Yeah, think about it this way: when you're doing a limit buy, you're saying that you're going to buy okay. it at X rate, and it has to be somebody. Uh, there has to be a balance the other side of that. So the further you go from whatever the current rate is, that that affects how long it's going to take, and those time frames are just estimates. I would say, truthfully, you could be looking at, depending upon the rate that you selected, you could be looking at upwards of 24 to 72 hours, if not more, depending upon how much uh, you're looking to get. Um, and we always recommend here, um, if you need the Lindens right away, um, yeah, go ahead and just do the instant. The limit buy is there for those who are, are um, looking for something more specific uh, value for their, their money spent and are okay with waiting until that order is filled by a matching seller. Yes, you might see uh, some fluctuation in the market, ISIS. That is uh, common. I just thank you for the questions and being so engaged with us. That's why we're here. And don't forget, in just about 40 minutes will be uh, the Philip and Oberwolf uh, Lab Gab. We do still have a couple of minutes left. If there's any final questions or comments that we can't answer, uh, please feel free to bring them on out. That would be music to my ears, Baca. I would love to see some, some city lofts or something like that. Um, I know that the moles have played with that before, um, but I don't know how successful that's been or if they intend to move forward on that. Um, I wish I did because, yeah, I would love to see that. Like so, I think there was a uh, April Fool's joke where the new Linden Homes was apartment buildings. Anyone remember that? I thought it would have been awesome. <laughs> Talk about living out your childhood. <laughs> Uh, 
clicks on that, you'd have to show how it's breaking the terms of service and then submit an abuse report on it if it is. Yeah, I said it's a major uh, production uh, here. Uh, if the land team is not developing new areas for existing themes, uh, they're reviewing and uh, developing new themes for later dates. Leave application for moles do open up from time to time. Piper, uh, we don't have any uh, further information other than the announcement uh, that we did a couple uh, meetings ago regarding Casper Tech's integration with us. Was there something more specific you're looking for? I think that's a wonderful idea. Um, that might coincide with what Izzy was mentioning as they're looking at the possibility of you owning a lineum while browsing others. Um, so I would say that that's something that we're already looking at. Also, don't forget to go to the, um, uh, is it in the belly demo region, uh, where you can go ahead and look at the different Linden homes. So that might suffice yeah, a bunch of that. Yeah, also just browsing the, the communities in general, you'll get a feel. Um, and this may also contribute to the possibility of you becoming a Premium Plus resident if you are not yet, because that is one of the advantages of becoming Premium Plus is physically going out to the different Linden Home communities and picking a home right there and saying, I like this one, let's see if I can have it, right? Submitting a ticket, providing the swirl to the home and the uh, mainland team uh, reviewing it to see, well, one, if it's already taken, and two, if you can take it, um, versus the premium side where you go through the selection page and um, you have to uh, basically choose from those available ones, and the system will dynamically assign you a home, so it may or may not be in the area uh, that you were wishing for. So um, just, just browsing the communities because they're handmade. Um, you know, no two communities are looking alike. So I would say just go around and see based on the house and the area, uh, that's something you're interested in. 
And Adam, as far as naming a Linden home region, I would strongly suggest paying attention to the American Cancer Society Relay for Life and Jail and Bail events because uh, you can bid uh, on prizes and some of them do allow you to name a region. So while you might actually be putting that as a joke, somebody else might be interested. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that here. I will make you useful in contrib contributing to the group, no matter what it takes, Adam. <laughs> All the time, Adam. <laughs> I have two questions. Okay, that'll be quickly. Yeah, I'll uh, in there. yeah, we are out of All time, right. so you'll be the last questions. Okay. Can I voice them or should I text them? Please. Oh, yeah, you already have voice them. Go for it. Oh, sorry. I should have asked. Wait, oh, do I go see? Anyway, first question is, um, how quickly uh, can Premium Plus members move to the new layouts for the ranch? Um, well, as I, even though I did mention that a huge perk of the Premium Plus is going in world um, right now, not until July 10th, uh, will that option be available? They are only available right now through the selection page. So, yeah, sorry. Let me backtrack a little. That's so okay. just until July 10th, because of the extremely high demand, they're only available through the selection page. But once July 10th comes around, um, they're going to use the their normal uh, method of being able to go in world and choose the one you like. Yeah. Okay, yeah, everyone. No, uh, you have one more question, too, right? Yeah, I can ask it later, though. It's not a big deal. It was just about identifying um, Premium Plus Life members. Oh. Um, are, are they going to change their profiles to add like they did for the the original residents? And I'm not other? sure on that I think one. That's, I think that's still being looked into, Loki. I yeah. don't have any information on that. Loki, you mean about the Lifetime ones? Yeah, uh, we've asked, but we haven't gotten any response back yet. Okay, because... Yeah. Anyway, just asking, because it would be nice to know who actually got them and who didn't. Gotcha. Everybody have an amazing, amazing day. I'm going to run off to that uh, lab gap. It's going to be starting soon. Thanks, everyone, attending, and your questions. Thank and you we'll all see you next for month. coming. Take care. We'll see you next time.